Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Let me just fix my microphone because this is all post commentary. So, uh, so fuck my life. We are here today while I'm fixing my microphone. Uh, we are here today looking at Grand Blue Fantasy. Online verses. And while I was doing this, it seems that I accidentally fucking looked at the goddamn <laughs> the website for it. Oopsie daisy. But hey. We are looking at Grand Blue Fantasy versus online beta test that came out this past weekend. Right around the weekend of uh E3. So Right around the weekend of E3? No, no, no. The weekend before E3. My bad. I have held on to this fu uh, footage. Wow. I have held on to this footage for a while. And by a while, I mean like a week because I haven't had any time to uh, to actually sit down and record it. Record it? What am I saying? To sit down and do post commentary for it because mainly when I wanted to record this, Oh man, let me just say something. I work for a living, okay? Let's just start this whole video over. I work for a living. The beta times, if you live on the East Coast, got royally fucked over if you work for a living. If you work a regular 9 to 5 fucking shift, in all reality, you probably would have had maybe 2 hours, 3 hours tops to sit down and play this um me i do overnight shifts so i did have i did have like an extra time slot for me to play but on that day i was actually really busy so i didn't even have time to like sit down and really play that much my total play time of this beta was around like two hours and 30 minutes unfortunately I only have an hour and 30 minutes of recording. Well, what happened to the other hour, you must ask? Well, um, here's, here's what happened. What happened was that since I've been MIA on my channel for, like, about five months now. Um, five months? Would it have been five months? Yeah, for, like, about five months. I believe that was the last video I uploaded was like, uh, I don't know, it was like Resident Evil or Persona or something. I really haven't checked that much. And my subscribers are still going up for some reason, which is a good thing. So thank you guys for supporting me. Um, is someone coming into my house? That is the sound of a door unlocking. Well, anyways, um, I hit my microphone. Holy shit. Because I've been MIA from my channel for a bit, I completely forgot that my goddamn uh, Elgato does this stupid thing that I fucking hate. Which is, when you are not recording on that Elgato, it starts a timer. As if it was recording. Well, not only that it starts a timer as if it was recording, it also pretends to like use memory too. So you can see the what memory you have left on your fucking PC go down. So, me seeing that, I was like, okay, are we recording? I literally sat down. My second session of playing this game, I sat down, I looked, and I said, am I recording? Okay, it looks like I'm recording. Little did I know, I was not recording. And on top of that, my last, like, hour of gameplay, I've learned, like, way more shit. And... Sadly, you guys won't get to see it, which really sucks. So, all the recording I have right now are, is really basic bitch gameplay on my part. And that's because the beta doesn't have, a, like, a testing, like, it doesn't have, what am I saying testing? It doesn't have a training mode. So, you have to learn on the fly. So... You may see other people make some mistakes. You may see um, you're gonna, you're definitely gonna see me make some fucking mistakes. Like, for example, starting this off, I did not think 
for a goddamn second that me playing an Arxis fighting game, anime ass game, would be all about fucking footsies. Like, this shit, this game, you may have noticed it now, it may seem, it may seem like it's fast, it really isn't. This game is all about learning, not learning, mostly about reading your fucking opponent. And doing some real rock, paper, scissor type shit. Also, as you can see, the meter, the meter works in one of two ways. The meter that's building up, where you have your percentage number, you can either use your meter to do a regular super. I like to call them regular supers. Um, or, if you're about to die, like right here, my character is at like below 30% or at 30%, right? Um, I'm playing as basic bitch boy Gran, by the way. Uh, if you're below or at 30%, you can use that meter to do a... I guess I'll call it an ultimate super, because it's not really a level 3, because you only have two supers. Alright? So, yeah, that's how that works. There's also cooldowns in the game, which... I had a interesting conversation with someone in which they said they're not going to play this game because it has cooldowns. And then I sat there and I said, have you ever played Rolling Thunder? If you haven't, then, uh, what are you doing? Also, aren't meters just, aren't cooldowns just the most basic form of a meter? Like, let's think about that real quick. But anyways, forget about that argument. Here, you're going to see me probably fight, like, about two people. Because for some reason, and I hate this whenever there's a beta for a fighting game, there are just some people who don't want to fucking fight. And they'll just run around the whole entire lobby. It's like, whatever, man. Or someone, or like, right around here, I think I like, sit down and I wait to like, start a match with this, home, with this um, person. And I'm waiting for them to ready up. And they just won't ready the fuck up. So it's like, it's a beta. We only have certain times to play this. If you're on a beta, why do you not want to play the fucking game, right? It pisses me off. Um, but fortunately, uh, the reason I left this in is because I want to show every everything that happens in the lobby and shit and how the lobby works. But fortunately, I came across this person. I'm not going to say they're real, they're real like... Uh, I'm playing this on the PS4, by the way. I'm not going to say they're a real PSN online identity, right? But you can see them hanging out in the background around here. It's uh, it's the person with the character avatar of, uh, I believe the girl's name is Fran. And the person's name is Miku. Their fucking um, lobby name is Miku. And I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure that's a guy that I'm playing, but if it's not, I apologize. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna be calling you a he, right? Um, and they were nice enough, not only to actually ready the fuck up and play with me, but most of these matches that you'll see is me playing against them because I guess they're the same as me when it comes to a beta in a fighting game. It's not about like I would have loved to like go around and um. And like fight a bunch of different people, right? But at the same time, I really don't have that type of time to do that. So I just really wanted to show off all the characters and get some fights in. So this person was nice enough to constantly play matches with me. Instead of being like that one asshole who like beats you in one match. And just because you started playing the game and they beat you in one match, they're like, I don't want to play no more, go fuck off, right? So, this person was very, very nice, and had really good sportsmanship, and I was really happy while I was doing this. So, so just straight up thank you to them, and I told them, after the fact, that I'm going, that uh, this was being recorded, and that it's going to be on this channel. So, hopefully they're watching this. I know the video came out a little bit late, but hopefully you're watching this, and just... Thank you for being such like such a good sport and just being there and like not making it hard for me to find fucking uh, matches on this goddamn beta. With everything said about that, this game 
I don't know shit about Grand Blue Fantasy. I'm gonna assume that Grand, the character I'm playing as, is the basic bitch main protagonist. Why? Because you see his intro, he's all like, man, I hope I can win this battle. And then you see his waifu walk up and she's like, try your best, Grand. And then you see his little pet dragon or like partner dude and he's like, come on, Grand, you can do it, whip his ass. Right? So, so, uh, first couple of matches is gonna be me, Grand against Catalina, which I assume she's like, some sort of high-ranking official within like a fantasy ass military i don't know maybe grand's like a squire or some shit who uh who's going to climb the ranks and become the best of them all but yeah uh you're definitely gonna see me do some uh do some dumb shit here and just make a bunch of my strikes but but you'll also get to see of her, like the way I play fighting games which which is I play in the moment <laughs> which is probably not the best thing to do but I learn while I play and one of the things I love to do again which is why I thank this person for having repeated matches with me is that I love rematching people that I lose against not because not because I'm like man I'm gonna beat you and I'm gonna win and I'm gonna be like haha fuck you and then leave right it's because if I find someone that, like, I'm having a real hard time beating, I want to learn by fighting them over and over and over and over again and get better. That's how you get better at a fucking fighting game. And once you get the hang of that and, like, get, like, a bunch of, uh, like, actual good matches in, whether win or lose, once you get, like, a bunch of matches in where where both sides it's kind of having a bit of a struggle then you then i'm sitting there and i'm like i'm, I'm getting somewhere i'm getting somewhere i'm learning right i did that a lot with the uh, dragon ball fighters and i just love that type of uh of that stuff so here i try to look at my command list because i'm like wait there's no training mode in this game or nothing so let me actually look at my command list and see what i got and learn how to use my uh, specials and shit i look at it a bit and then, I don't look at all of it. <laughs> I do not look at all of it. Because I just kind of skim it and I'm like, fuck it. I don't have time to sit here and read it. I just want to get into matches. So, that's what I do. I just learn on the fly. It's not until like my second session, which sadly wasn't recorded. All my dumb stupid part. That I see that someone was playing as Gran. And he had like some sort of like buff feature. Or, like, he buffed himself or something like that. And I was like, wait, how the fuck you do that? Also, uh, had some aerials that I didn't know about. Like, I really didn't utilize the, uh, X button that much in this game. Which was really fucking stupid. Uh, I didn't utilize that shit until my second session. But, yeah. That, like, this game, this game, for a basic bitch, uh, gotcha game with basic with basic bitch anime characters uh it, it is a really good game it's an arxis game and it's an arxis game in which they're trying to uh do it like it's street fighter right um man it's just this game was hella fun like one of the things that really caught me off guard was when i first saw the trailers for this i saw how the characters move and i'm like everybody moves kind of slow right and then, within like, I don't know, 10 minutes of getting used to the way this controls, fucking, that goes away. That problem goes away. Within like, fucking two seconds, man. It was like, I was like, I really don't care. So, I also try to get off everyone's uh, level 3 ultimate, even though there's only like two supers you use. Um, and that reminds me, there's also this cool thing that they do. Which, if you, uh, win, if you, not win the match, but if you win the, uh, is it the match? Yeah, it's the match. Uh, if you win the match, like, if you're on the last round of the match and you win the match, whether you use, like, whether you use, like, your ultimate or just your regular super, if you just finish them off with a regular super, you still get, like, a pretty cool cinematic cutscene, which is awesome. Uh, so I like that they did that. 
Look at that. I hit my microphone again. Fucking... One thing that I want to point out is that Catalina, whenever I see her, I'm just like, I feel like someone sat there and said, Hey man, have you ever played Persona Ultimax? Uh, just make her meet Zuru, man. Because that rapier got some hella range, and it's pissing me the fuck off. <laughs> oh man. When I, uh, when you see me play as Catalina in these matches later or whatever, I just sat there and I was like, I don't want to play as Catalina, I don't want to play as Catalina, I don't want to play as Catalina. She looks like she, she's literally, she's gonna have, looks like I'm gonna, um, fuck it up somehow. By the way, you see Catalina do like a fucking spot dodge. There's spot dodges in this game. That's pretty fucked up. That's pretty fucked up. How you gonna do that? How you gonna do that to my, pro to my fucking projectile like that? Like, come on. How you gonna do that to my fucking Hadoukens, man? Hadouken, Hadouken. Sure you can. Sure you can beat this game. Um. <laughs> but, like. When I played as Catalina, I was like, I feel like I'm playing Mitsuru. I feel like this is Mitsuru. Right? Uh. Also, I should really point out, because I didn't point out, I think this is the only video that I'm going to do post-commentary for, for Grand Blue, because I do have a bunch of other fights to show, and honestly, I just want to show off the game, more importantly than, you know, me talking, but I thought I should get my initial thoughts out about Grand Blue within, like, the first video, because that's something that I didn't do when I recorded those Dragon Ball Fighter beta shit way back in the day. I say back in the day, it was like, what, fucking two years ago? Not two years ago. Oh, shit, not even two years ago. That was like last year. Oh, shit. That was like beginning of last year, February 2018. Uh, God damn it. Time flies, man. Time flies. Uh, how much time do I have left in this fucking, in this session? Let me see. Uh, we've been going for like about 20 minutes. I keep hitting my fucking microphone. That's like my headset scratching to get against the fucking pop filter. I apologize for that. I'm not used to post commentary, honestly. Uh, I should probably do it more. I know I might do it for Code Vein because I got into that beta as well. And like, also within this whole weekend, apparently there were three betas going on. Fucking uh, this, Code Vein, and motherfucking Neo 2 had a beta going on. Not only that, but there was also announcements of, like, this really finite amount of people. Like, about, like, 50 people or so getting beta codes for fucking The Surge 2. Like, what? Like, this whole weekend was just pretty, like, pretty fucked, to be honest. But, man, fuck, like, I honestly, when I first saw this, I didn't think I was going to get into this game. When this game comes out, I'm buying this shit day one. Because I kind of fell off of Dragon Ball Fighters a bit, to be honest. I haven't been playing it as much as I should. And also, to be honest, I'm not really that big of a fan on... Like, I loved Fighters, and I still do love Fighters. Um, but I'm not that big of a fan on, um, on like, Tag Team Fighters, right? On top of that, the whole Dragon Ball system fucking makes me mad in that game. Because... You can be fucking someone up, and then I'll summon Shinron, bring all my party back, and then I'm like, well, I'm fucked now, right? Uh, did I confirm into this? I, yeah, okay, I made it. So there are some uh, confirms into fucking ultimates, which is awesome. You got your waifu joining you for for your ultimate attack. It's like waifu, help me. She's like, I'll summon the dragon, Graham. <laughs> right. Speaking of that, this fucking game is... See, look at that. That was like a basic super. That wasn't even like an ultimate. And since, uh... Since Miku here beat my ass with it, uh, he got like all the cinematic shit. <laughs> like, goddamn, man. Goddamn, you with my ass. But I'm learning. I'm learning. I'll fuck you up one day. Uh... <laughs> But yeah, this game is like so high level anime fantasy that like Gran is the most basic bitch protagonist. Fucking <laughs> like everyone has to constantly you can't see no one draw blood because if you do, they won't be beautiful, right? No one's going to get any battle scars, right? 
some people try to come and take my seat. And I'm like, fuck you. This is my seat. You don't get to play. One of the things that really pisses me off about this, though, is that if you lose your match in this game, your character is just instantly kicked off, like, the booth or whatever. I wish there was just an option to just, like, kind of keep that on. Right? So, here. Oh, my God. One of the dogs is barking. It's not even my dog. It's, like, I don't know, my uncle's dog or something. He came to visit over and motherfucker's still here. Um, <laughs> but... But I was like, all right, Gran, you're basic bitch, Ryu. And I apologize for the fucking dog barking. I just want to strangle that little motherfucker. Um, so I was like, all right, Gran, he's your basic Ryu. Okay, whatever. Time to switch up characters. I guess I'll play as Lancelot. I'll probably end up maining Lancelot. Mainly because he's kind of a rushdown character. And I love rushdown characters. One of my favorite characters in uh, Persona Ultimate was fucking Yosuke. I loved it. I loved everything about it. Also, this motherfucker has a teleport. Fucking, look at that. He has a teleport, which... Which, usually, when it comes to characters that have teleports, I don't play as them, because they're a little bit more technical. But this one is just pretty straightforward, because it's just a cooldown. It's like, you teleport in the air, and you can do some cross-ups. It's like, it's crazy, man. You can do cross-ups, or you can just straight up do, like, a... Like, kind of a spike... I call it a spike, I don't know what else to call it. But, but like, I really like how Lancelot controls. He also has like this, uh, like his down X, or whatever. He has like this, uh, dashing slide that trips up the enemy, which is really good, I like that. I like that he can just deny people in the air, though, that's awesome. Like, in my second session of playing this, like... I'm so mad that it's not recorded, but there's a moment where I had, like, a mirror match with, like, Lancelot, and fucking, I teleport in the air, this dude does a wall jump, and as he's coming towards me, I air grab that motherfucker and slam him to the ground, and I was like, get the fuck out of here, I control the skies, motherfucker, what are you doing, right, but, um, <laughs> all in all, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus is a really great game, and I can't wait to see the full roster of the characters that are coming out, because, honestly, I like the way all the characters control in this game, which is a big, which is really weird for me, because usually in fighting games, I hate about, like, 50% of the cast, and then I'll have, like, these three characters that I just play as, right? But... Let's end this video on a good note. I believe this match I actually win it. Spoilers. But I tried. You know, I tried. I tried my best. I tapped into my energy. Right? Put my hands in the sky. And I went like, Everybody, give me your energy. See, look at that. Just deny it. Just get punished. Uh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Miku. I don't mean to talk trash. But you got punished, boy. You got fucking punished. Motherfucker almost got punished again. I control the skies. This is my place. Like, but Catalina has a lot of, like, anti-air type shit. I fucking love that wall jump so much. That wall jump is so good. It helps me get out of the corner so many times. So many times. That's a problem. Uh, there's a lot of corner trapping in this game. If you don't know what you're doing, which I didn't know what I was doing for most of the time. But, I love this motherfucker. I love playing as Lance a lot. Not only that, but he, even though this is basic anime fantasy, he looks cool as shit. Fucking all blue armor, dual swords, fucking dual sort, dual sort swords, and, and beautiful black wavy anime hair, right? So basic. You're such a basic cool guy, Lancelot, but I, but I love you. I love you. You're awesome. Look at that anti-air shit. It's beautiful. That fucking uppercut got my fucking chin off. That's what she managed to do. Man, I just... I really love this. I love this game. This game is great. Do I want to get into the Grand Blue Fantasy series because of this game? Not really, but I probably am just for the sake of it. So I don't... So I at least know about the characters that I'm fucking up or getting fucked up by. Right? But, goddamn. Look at that. Look at that ice ability. It is basically Mitsuru. 
But real quick over here, Miku learns that my favorite move is to is to fucking do that. Do that fucking air attack. I love it. I love it. Actually, I think. Oh yeah, she's gonna beat me. Oh no. Did I hit this off? I believe I did. I fucking did a raw ultimate. I got lucky. I got lucky. Yeah, but to finish the video on a good note, guess what? I won, motherfuckers. I did it. I finally did it. Look at me. I'm awesome. I'm awesome. I'm better than everyone here. So, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Seriously, though, Miku, thanks a lot for having all those matches with me. I'm going to be showing the rest of them off. And, uh, yeah. Fucking, and, you know, be a good sport. Because this is actually really true. I was like, I was like, where is it? Where is it? There has to be something. And I was like, listen, man, you're too fucking strong. That was my first one. That was my first victory. Like, I'm getting my ass whooped here. Um, but yeah, all in all, Grand Blue Fantasy, awesome. Definitely a day one buy. I'm going to play this shit like a motherfucker. And that's really it. So I'm going to leave this video now leave this session and in the next couple of videos probably like two more videos after this you're just gonna see no commentary no no nothing just just the basic fights and that's it so as always i want to thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next video Take off.